Good morning, everybody. I hope you're well on this chilly, chilly, chilly Wednesday morning. Um, I'm Kim from the Oracle Group, and I hope you're doing a really good job today, and I hope you have a really cool day. Okay. I'll just get this camera organised a little bit. Sorry. Better? No worries. I hope you're having a great day. Um, we're at Manapara this weekend, Tracy and I, with the Oracle Room, between 9 and 12, I think it is. Um, that's on our website or that's on our Facebook page. Um, sorry about the noise this morning. Everybody's a bit, there's lots of people outside the shop this morning and they're all a bit loud. Can you make your questions count, please? Because you may only just get one. Um, we get pretty busy. If I miss you out, then if I don't get to your question, then I apologise and I'll try and get to you. I'll try and get to the question after the show. Okay, meditations are starting on a Tuesday. We're also starting a soul circle, which teaches you how to meditate and it teaches you a few different things about yourself and there's a 21-day self-love program. Um, private sessions are for $50 for 20 minutes and we can do them over messenger. We can do them over the phone. All right. Do you want to start? We're at Salisbury North in Adelaide. Okay. All righty. Um, I'd like to say thanks to Roy for putting this on. Good morning, Catherine. How are you? Um, I hope you're having a blessed day. It's really, really cold here, honey. <laughs> I've got gloves on this morning. I feel like I'm starting to head in the right direction in my life. Is my life getting better for me? Oh, I do believe that it's been very rough, rocky for you and that rockiness is going to last just a little bit longer. Um, but you are, having, you are heading in the right direction. Good morning, Julie. You are heading in the right direction. Um, oh, I just had a card flip then. No, clearly not. Can I have some clear guidance for Catherine, please? Alrighty. You are making the, the move to move forward. You're balancing, you're trying to balance everything out at the moment. You're trying to find your inner strength to move forward. Good morning, Brianna. Um, and you're trying to find your inner strength to move forward. I do have the two and the one. Okay, so this is juggling things. Good morning, Josephine. Oh, yes, I am. I've got my heater. <laughs> and this is looking for a new creative um beginning all right finding something that puts a, a fire in your heart pushing yourself forward um the night means that things will be moving forward to renewal because renewal is here okay now this is judgment in the normal tarot card so an announcement is coming a renew review and reevaluate things okay um but you're you're heading in the right direction honey you really really are i hope this helps you Okay. Good morning, Tasha. Good morning, beautiful lady. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm feeling better than I was yesterday. Thank you very much. I have one that flipped in the deck and one that flew. So I have the ace of water and ego. Okay, so this is talking about wanting something more fulfilling, but you have to let go of fear. You're fearing this new beginning. You're feeling fearing this new emotion, this new um, start. This uh, this new start that's coming for you is an emotional balance for you. Okay, you are heading in the right direction. One, uh, 15 and 1 is 16, so it's 7. So you are being nudged along by spirit. You are being nudged along um giving you just tiny little signs and synchronicities that you're heading in the right direction, okay? Let go of fear and the false sense of entrapment at the moment, sweetie, all right? Okay, fear-based thoughts. So you can do this and your emotions will level out. I hope this helps you, sweetie, because an emotional beginning's coming. I am trying to keep myself warm. I've got gloves and I've got my cardigan over my legs that you guys can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I have my heater on. So, yeah, it's kind of I'm trying to keep as warm as I possibly can this morning. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I got here and it was just pouring with rain. I would love to know if 
I would get the job that I recently applied for. I do believe that financial stability is coming in for you, sweetheart. I really, really do. Um, and things that, as I said to you before, there is one person that is, is boasting you for this job. Um, he's got, he has big say. I'll show you the cards that came out, okay? So we have strength, new plan. Here's your businessman. He's starting a foundation for, to, to bring you into the business, all right? So I do believe that this is a yes. There is financial balance coming in for you. I hope this helps you, Josephine. Good luck, sweetheart. Sure, Brianna. I love your photo, sweetheart. I really, really do. Okay, I have two. Oh, ego's fallen out again. And the page. Somebody, something has happened with you at the, um, at the present that has delayed your plans and something has been delivered to you, maybe just a little harshly, okay? That harsh information that's been delivered to you, sweetheart, or the... the the discomfort that you're feeling is um, it's said from ego, it's not said from love, okay? It's said out of fear, it's not said from love, okay? Um, try and be logical, try and be honest about the information that you either have been given or are going to get given, all right? The bottom of the deck is the four of swords, so it might be just a little harsher than than. Than what's supposed to be there's some challenging information coming for you and please don't please know that you have strength to to move past it i hope this helps you sweetie hi jackie how are you thank you for joining us this morning sure oh that almost that almost flew off the table i have two cards one is the star card and the other is the ace of it's the ace of air which is the ace of swords so you're wanting happy times to come into your life happy times are on the horizon for you make positive changes and long-term plans okay but try and be optimistic okay try and see it from a, a a realistic and compassionate point of view okay the new beginning that's coming is going to bring truth it's going to do something that makes you makes you feel right um you've got inspirations and you're seeing the truth in in a situation and sometimes that can be just a little bit confronting all right um there is a challenging new beginning coming for you but you need to really 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 stand in your truth so if you've planted seeds since the last moon then these seeds are coming to fruition but they may not be just what you have planted they may just be a little bit they'll be what you wanted but they might not come how you expected them to come i hope this resonates with you sweetie and i hope it helps have a Excellent day. Alrighty. If you see smoke coming across the screen, it's no spirits or anything like that. Um, I cleansed the shop this morning and um, I've got some incense burning this morning just to bring in some clarity and um, some divine guidance, I suppose. That's what it's called, divine guidance. Good morning, Donna. How are you? Is it okay if I pop in about one today? Sure, Donna, not a problem. And I'll just get you a card, my love. May I have a card for Donna? Oi! That one went on the floor. Good morning, Beck. Okay, fiery new beginning, something that's put a passion in your belly, honey. Um, exciting new opportunities are coming in for you, okay? A career advancement. But, oh, wow. You've got two aces, all right? Be honest with what you want. Stand in your truth, okay? It's going to be a bit challenging, but you're going to love it, okay? You can see the smoke running across the camera. <laughs> Sorry. A bit eerie this morning, hey? It's raining. I was wondering if I could have a card. Congratulations. Sure. May I have a card for Beck, please? Let's see what, what we have for back today. When you're ready. Oh, there we go. The hermit. See? You're on the road to self-discovery. Things are happening to you in at night time. You're dreaming a lot. That is really annoying. Sorry. Um, you're dreaming. 
a lot. Um, these things are transforming you in a way, okay? Um, sometimes you, it's, it's really weird how you, you go for your path of um, self-discovery. Just look within. Take some time for yourself, all right? Try some meditation. Every, you're on the right path, sweetheart. Almost there. It's a nine. Almost there. I hope this helps you, sweetie. Wow. I need just a mouthful of coffee. Good morning, Tracy. How are you? Hello, lovely. Any messages from my mom? Let's see what mom has to say. Well, she's telling you that life is magical, my love, and you are the magician and you have everything that you need in your hands and in your body to make your dreams come true. Believe that life is magical. Move forward. There is an emotional offering coming in for you. It's only a small one, but she's sending you so much love, okay? She may give you a small gift, all right? Um, I am seeing black and white butterflies, all right? So the next time you do see a black and white butterfly, this is her telling you that life is exactly where you're supposed to be. And she's sending you a lot of love. I hope this helps you sweat up. Good morning, Jamie. How are you? I am feeling a bit better. Thank you very much. The cold affects me really, really badly. Really bad. Um, and there are some days that I just, yeah, it affects me really bad. <laughs> sure, I'll pull a card for Jamie. All right. We have the nine of air. Any more for Jamie? Yep. And the Ace of Wands. Wow. So you're coming out of um, you're coming out of anxious anxiety at the moment. Something that has created a sleepless night. So expecting the worst. Um, you're starting to. It creates anxiety. This is the Nine of Swords. So it's something that has it's been on your mind. It's and it's there all the time. Um, there is a new beginning coming for you, sweetie, with the Ace of Fire. This has come out a few times this morning. It's an exciting new opportunity to change your life, all right? Plant your seeds, know what you're planting, work towards it. Make sure that they fill your, your body. Make sure you it's something that you love, something that is passionate, that you're passionate about, okay? Um, you are moving out, see, nine and one. So this is completing and this is moving into the new. I hope this helps you, sweetie. And look, six of air is at the bottom, so it's moving towards something better. All right? I hope this helps you, darling. Have a good day. Hi, Laura. I have three that just flew as soon as I looked at your name. So maybe we have the eight the knight and the four. So the eight of swords, the knight and the four of pentacles. Um, there is a decision that needs to be made, all right? Sometimes you feel that you're at a stalemate or you're procrastin procrastinating about um, whether or not you are seeing spirit, whether or not this foundation is real, whether or not you are heading in the right direction because the four has come out, with, we're halfway there. All right, you feel like you're going backwards, but you're not. Even though you can't see your um, successes and the small wins, that's what you've got to look at. The glass is half full. And you, you're being, good news is coming for you, sweetie, but you just need to be open enough to accept it and, and believe that it is coming, all right? Don't procrastinate about an offering that you need to make. Don't procrastinate about thinking whether spirit is here or not because you're clear. If, it's, if there are too many signs, then it's clearly happening, okay? I've got in my head, I don't know who this is for, but if it acts like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. <laughs> so I don't know who that's for, but that just came in my head. So... Try and move forward, all right? You are being guided. You are having, you are getting help from, from. I'm just wondering if moving states will be good for my partner, for me, my partner and my kids. Wow. 
this is happening really, really fast. And it's sort of swept you off your feet a little bit. I think you're moving away from heartache. Good morning. Thank you, Catherine. I think you're moving away from heartache um, and wanting to, you're, it's time to reevaluate. Good morning, Jesse. It's time to reevaluate where you're headed, what direction. Good morning, Heather. Um, sorry. It, it's, it's time for you to reevaluate what is going on, all right? The, the next card that has come out is you are reminiscing about something from the past. You're wanting to be either back with the past or back to a place where it was the past or state that it was past, okay? Um, you guys know exactly what your options are, all right? I do believe that it'll move you out of your current situation and it will move you into a better one, all right? But I'm hearing don't take old problems to a new place. Does that make, I hope that makes sense to you. I hope this helps, sweetheart. I really, really do. Hi, Julie. Are you able to tune into my emotions at the moment? I'm so mixed up. Julie, you're having a lot of anxiety and heart palpitations. You're extremely nervous. Um, your tears are just flowing and you're finding it really, really hard to stop. Um, I have a big lump in my throat. So you're trying really, really hard to control these and it's not working. See? <laughs> Emotional. This is, this is you're trying to control them. And unfortunately, you're not nurturing yourself enough, all right? You're feeling really, really like you're out of breath. Um, my heart's racing at the moment, honey. You need, I would have, when I feel like this, I try really, really hard to find a spot and ground myself and I try really hard to have a, a salt bath put some meditation music on and just try and ease out of this, this massive emotion. It is a roller coaster at the moment. The universe is, and as I said before, the universe is working in really, really strange ways. And there are lots and lots of new energies coming in. Um, there are quite a few uh, aggressive energies that are coming in because there are a lot and I'm going to repeat myself there are a lot of men that are starting to waken up and they really don't know how to handle the up and down emotion because they've never had to handle that before so the emotion that some of us are feeling are from uh, is frustration it's kind of pent up which is extreme when the when this it's the energy it's a masculine energy so it's very extreme when it gets let go all right i hope this helps you julie i'm sorry you're feeling like that hi heather laying up crazy in bed oh my god i'm so sorry sweetheart no worries tasha thank you for joining wow i hope you get better soon sweetheart Hi, Alicia. Yes, you can have a card that flew sideways. Is there something that needs to be cut out of your life or something that has somebody that has come in that's very that's a bit cold and he speaks with confidence? It's either you taking this confidence or there is a man come that has um, been a little cold towards you. Um, he is he's like a businessman. He's very influential. Um, he's diplomatic but he he may have been a bit cold it's the king of air um you, you if this isn't a male that has come into your life for renewal um it could be the fact that you are trying to balance your heart and your head okay and they're kind of the scales are a bit tipped at the moment all right but you need to be truthful and honest with yourself renewal is coming for you Okay, this is judgment. This is um, review and evaluate your entire situation and see what, what you can move forward with and what you can't. This is a time of you learning lessons at the moment. We are all learning lessons and sometimes the lessons aren't as nice as what we believe them to be. I hope this helps you, sweetie. I'm sorry that you're feeling like that. I hope this helps. Oh. Good morning, Melinda. How are you? 
I would love to know about my job at the moment. Let's see what we have for Melinda. Oh, two. Wow. You may have had some arguments or some disagreements or there may be somebody in your job at the moment that's just a little bit fiery and a bit confrontational. Um, you are a very confident woman. You are a nurturing woman. You, you can get past this section. But what's happened is, I don't know whether you can see that, we have the page of wands, the world and the queen, right? So you are the queen. You are the person that can spread your wings. You are the person that doesn't, don't underestimate what you are capable of doing, okay? The world means that things are coming full cycle, a job well done. And um, this little person here is, it's news coming in. It might not be the what you're expecting, but it is news coming in, okay? It could be a younger person. Okay, that's a bit fiery and a bit flighty and sometimes when they talk to you, they're a bit snappy um, or a bit confrontational. You are the queen of fire, all right? You know what, you know how to nurture these people. You know how to, you know how to deal with this situation. You are very, very warm. You're very independent and you're very creative. So you can get past this situation at work, all right? It is coming full circle, though. Something's coming back to teach you how beautiful you really are. That's what I believe. That's what I've just heard. See, the lovers. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Will our road trip go ahead in July, please? Wow. You're manifesting on working towards it. Good morning, sweetheart. Um, the magician's flown out. No worries, Brianna. The magician's flown out, so believe that life is magical. And you can do what you put your heart to. You have everything. All you have to do is just get better. <laughs> All right. And the second card that flew out is the three. So the three of earth. So the power of teamwork. Right. I do believe that it's going to go ahead. I do believe that you're going to have a ball. Absolute ball. All right. But you just, you have to consider your own health too at the moment. And just believe in the fact that you will get better. I hope this helps you so Hi, Paula. You're moving towards a better place, Paula. You're moving the desire to move on, the desire to search for something more meaningful. You're leaving other uh, emotional baggage behind and you are setting sail for something new. All right. See how we have this man, he's raising up out of, out of the cops. Okay. He is leaving it behind. He is floating to the surface. He is moving forward. All right. And look at the bottom. The magician life is magical my love so please believe it you are having a lot of difficulties at the moment and I can feel that um, the dream I will be trying to interpret that this afternoon um, but I really believe that it's not as bad you want to move towards something all right I don't believe that it's as bad as what we believe or what it feel it felt at the time hope this helps you Paula I'll talk to you a bit later today Hi Sophie, I would love a card on a roller coaster right now. Feeling so tired at this point. I know you are, sweetheart. I can fully sympathise. These are past things coming back. These are past lessons. Um, unity. You're, you're trying to bring two sets of emotions back together. All right. You're wanting. You're wanting to start something from the past or an idea. It's something. Something that has come from the past. Maybe it was a past. Um, relationship that you had um, but some of these some of these emotions aren't traditional some of these emotions that you're feeling you've not felt before some of them or you have but it was a while ago right and now they've resurfaced okay you're looking for emotional stability and it is coming for you sweetie because the ace of cups has come out so it is coming for you um, it's, I know it's a roller coaster and I know it's really hard, but be, be supportive of you, be kind to you, and just spend some time in trying to settle these emotions down. Use meditation music, go outside, go for coffee, and try and keep yourself a little busy while during this time because sometimes, sometimes that works just a little better for you. I hope this helps. 
Oh dear, I know it's a roller coaster at the at the present. Will my son be paying her on this work for life? It is secure a job. These exams, online tech, which is on the twenty seventh. Um, I do believe yes. All right, this is the moon card. So he may get his results next week when the, the new moon comes around. So what's that? I think it's the third or the fourth of June. So he may get he may get results before then or just after the full moon, uh, the new moon. Um, events are happening behind the scenes with him. They um, I think he is moving forward. I really do. And you guys are fearing this at the moment, and you've got to let go of it. You really, really do because I I do believe that. He's going to move forward and he's going to be successful at it. I hope this helps you, darling. Good morning to you. Sorry, I had to clear the throat. Good morning, Anna. How are you? Oh, I've got two. All right, I have the eight and the five. So there are some confronting things at the moment that you're not, that, and some, maybe some quarrels. It's boring down south. Yes, it is really, really cold. Um, the eight of air and the five of uh, the eight of air and the five of fire. It means that some at the moment you're quarrelling either with other people or quarrelling with yourself. Um, it's you're afraid to take action. Maybe somebody has maybe there has been a confrontation recently that or that is coming up that is going to stop you in your tracks and you're not going to know which way to move forward. I do believe that you are going to move forward, but you need to you need to look at everybody's motives. All right, with this with this situation, you need to look at everybody's everybody's motives and Listen to everybody's opinions. Listen, hear everybody out and then make your own decision, all right? Don't let fear, all right? Somebody, this may this may have to do with um, revising plans, okay? Or maybe you're arguing with somebody at the moment or having a bit of confrontation with somebody at the moment in which direction to go. Um, just be honest with the direction that you want to go in or the decision that you want to make. I hope this helps. Good morning, Carol. Sure. All right. I have the king of water that's blown out. So this is open your heart and your mind to those around you. Have look for look for some someone that has is trustworthy and to, for you to talk to because this is huge emotions at the moment. Um, be compassionate with yourself. There are lots of people are going through a massive roller coaster. This is either a man coming into your life or a man that has disrupted this, or this is you taking on the male role of your emotions, which is bringing them into balance, trying to trying to find a new solution um, to an existing problem, and it will move forward. See, the queen of air. So maybe this is a relationship or maybe there is something that needs to be said that isn't being said. Um, the queen talks about being putting humour back into things and she, she is a little, a little cold, but she's very honest. She's very truthful. All right, so be honest about these emotions that you're having and try and bring stability back. I hope this helps you, sweetie. Hey Jess, it's gold here too. I can't believe I found my gloves this morning and they're, they're kind of cool. I wanted to wear fingerless gloves, but I can't shuffle cards with fingerless gloves. Not that I, I got told this morning I can't shuffle cards anyway. <laughs> anyway, I've once, one card has blown out for you, sweetie, and I'll take the bottom of the deck. This has come out a lot, the eight of air. It's an illusion of lack, it's an illusion of being trapped. It's it's lack of confidence. There is a decision that you need to make, sweetie, and you need to move forward. You you have a plan. Okay, this is the plan card. This is the best card in the deck. Sun is shining on you. All right. You just need to see in your heart what other people see in you. And then move forward and that lack of confidence will dissipate and your self-esteem um, you'll turn into the beautiful person that everybody else can see all right a bit of confidence honey i hope this helps you good morning bessie 
Anything about my finances or future job prospects? Let's see, split up. Anything for Bessie this morning? Any messages from Spirit? Bessie, up. You've seen that. Okay. You feel like you're juggling. There are two decisions that you need to make. Either there are two job prospects or you feel like everything's up in the air. You've got too much going on at once. You are moving towards balance because I have two twos, all right? Here's the six, which is moving forward, right? This fell out second and this was third, right? So you have two twos. So you are balancing, but you're having trouble making a decision. You have either two decisions, all right, or two job prospects and you, you're tossing up which one to go with. I believe that you'll go with the one that brings you more balance. Good morning, Faye. Um, I do believe that you'll move to the one that has more balance. Um, just take another look at your finances, sweetheart. Take a look at the job prospects and just go for something out of the ordinary. And there is a job coming for you, all right? There is one of the ones in the next couple of weeks. It might take four weeks, but one of the ones in the next couple of weeks that you have applied for or you will apply for, you will get. I hope this helps you, darling. Good morning, Faye. May I have messages from my darling dad? Wow. Ha! Faye, three major arcana cards. Uh, yes, look, three major arcana cards. Okay, the high priestess. Oh, wow, I just got chills. All right, the high priestess, listening to your intuition. I knew you know how to do this, baby. All right, have patience to move forward. Um, the feelings that are happening at the moment aren't traditional, but you do need to renew and revise your, he, he's, he's coming together, all right? He's bringing things in for you and he's showing you signs. I hope this helps you, Faith. Good morning, Tony. How are you? <laughs> Can I have cards or cards, please? One's already flown for you, honey. And there goes the next one. All right. Wow. Wow. This card, you guys are awesome. All right, you guys are starting to believe in magic. You guys are starting to believe in yourselves, knowing that you have um, all the tools to move forward, all the tools to, to set your plans in motion. Um, the three of air talks about coming out of sadness. It talks about a period to forgive you or to forgive others before you can move forward. Thank you so much. That made me cry. I got goosebumps. I have been seeing black and white butterflies. Yes, you have, babe. Yes, you have. Um, the magician is telling you that you can work your way out of this. All right? You can work your way out of this sadness. Please, it will not last for very long. Just be honest with yourself. Be truthful and maybe give yourself a little bit of forgiveness. If there is a drama, it may have to do with a... Um, with uh, stability or a mother figure. I hope this helps you, sweetie. Hi, Timia. How are you? I have, well, I have to, and it's come out again. Everybody's going through this massive emotional upheaval at the moment and we're all lacking confidence. We're all lacking the 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 ability to see what's in front of us. The emotional roller coaster is massive and it's a mental strain and people are getting exhausted. Sweetheart, this is um, the need to control your emotions. You're welcome, Jamie. The need to, wow. The need to control your emotions. The need to stop feeling that um, you have to see your worthiness. You have to see it because there are. this card has come out so much this morning. People are, are lacking in self-confidence and a little afraid to move in one direction. I know this is a roller coaster between our heart and our minds and our body and our soul and you guys are feeling things that you've never felt before. And it's if you're having trouble, please give us a ring. All right, if you're having dramas with these things, please give us a call and we can kind of help you out, all right? It just takes a phone call. I hope this helps you, darling. There is a way out, but you need to just see what's in here and have the inner strength to move forward. 
I hope this helps you, darling. Hi, Alice. Sure. Things are coming full circle for you, Alice. And it's a victory. You're moving away from your burdens. See? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Burdens. Okay. Feeling exhausted, working too much, accepting. You need to accept help from others and life, your life is a bit out of balance. The world cards come out. So this means that things are coming full circle, closing down cycles that you have done before. Spirit is saying that you've done a great job and you need to acknowledge yourself for that great job that you have done. All right? And this is your victory. There is happy news coming in for you, sweetheart. There is happy times ahead for you. All right? It's good news is on its way. I hope this helps you. I think Spirit is trying to contact you. <laughs> um, it's a tie-dyed one see it's kind of cool I like it thank you very much good morning Sandra I'd love to know if there is anything from my birth mother who is on the other side oh let's see Huh. She's asking you to please look. I have two cards, okay? The Ace of Fire and the Knight. She's either trying to tell you that somebody is coming towards you that's going to be a little tactless or she's trying to tell you that the arguments that you have had in the past very recently or the confrontations that you've had um, are going to come to an end. She's also trying to tell you that there is something very exciting so it's all cool, honey. You're not making me feel it. You're really not. I'm feeling it anyway, okay? Everybody that's waking up is starting to feel these new sensations. I do believe that she's trying to tell you that events are moving um, faster than you're going to think they, they are. Um, there is a, an exciting new opportunity to change your life. You just have to truly believe in it and truly want it, okay? Creative solutions. I'm seeing um, brown leaves at your door or your car door um, and orange leaves. So I'm not sure what that reference is to, but can you keep me posted, please? Hi, Shayla. Sure, let's see what we have. Shayla, we have, um, you're working together with somebody, okay? There is a connection coming in for you. It's the three and the two. The three of earth talks about working with somebody and being creative. The two it talks about forgiveness and coming together. So if you've had dramas from the past or you've had arguments with somebody from the past, be a team player and step up to, be, to offer your forgiveness to show them how you feel. I hope this helps, sweetie. All right. Hi, Nicole. How are you? All right. I didn't even get to ask that question, so I'm going to throw these back. Can I have cards for Nicole, please? One and there's two. And the eight of airs come out. I do believe that you're awakening to a situation, sweetheart. Good morning, Susan. Um, I do believe that you're awakening to a situation at the moment that you need to have a different perspective on. Um, you're trying to move forward, but, but you're fearing the outcome. Um, and it's important to, to honour yourself. It's important to be who you are. It's important to stand in your own truth, my love. It really, really is. Um, look from a different perspective. I know things, you need to stop for a bit and then move forward. Um, but don't, please don't fear. Please don't fear it. I know these emotions are pretty full on at the moment. and um, But please don't fear it. All right? Move forward with confidence like we know you can. I hope this helps you, darling. Good morning, Susan. I'll just grab your card, sweetheart. Whoa. 
you're bringing balance into your life or something very shortly will um, bring balance into your life. Yeah, there's the other one. Um, there is a connection that you, you have that's bringing balance to you, uh, whether it be a relationship from the past, whether it be your relationship is coming together further, but there is a balance to outside emotional conflict, okay? Bringing something together, all right? Balancing it out, moderating it, cooperate with it and, and compromise, okay wait for the perfect timing but this balance wow it's coming and it's going to emotionally fulfill you sweetie positive conflict positive um outcomes to conflict if you've got them at the moment even within yourself sure deb you're seeing a lot of, of um you're getting a lot of intuition at night time yes you are and you're kind of fighting with yourself at the moment to see whether it's real or what's or what's going on. You're in two minds about it. Um, you are changing your life. This is the one, okay? The one of a uh, of fire, which means that something has put a fire in your belly. It is the right direction for you to go in. You are heading in the right direction, even though it it has upset a few people. Um, you are heading in the right direction. You're doing what your intuition, you're following your intuition, you're following your divine guidance. And I'm very proud of you for that. Very, very proud of you. You've come a long way, Deb. Please acknowledge that. I hope this helps you. Good morning, Shalise. How are you? Uh, my mum and I ever see each other again and have a relationship together. I have the renewal card that came out. Good morning, Karen. I had the renewal card that came out. You are, look, how beautiful. Look at that. Huh. The renewal card means new decisions, choices, reevaluating re situations. The magician means that life is magical and you have all the tools in your body and your mind to set forward, to move into something beautiful. Life is magical. You have the resources. You are ready to move out of mourning and away from loneliness and mourning, the connection. This is a very emotional time for you, sweetheart. I do believe that you are moving into something beautiful. I really, really do. I really do. It might be a bit challenging to start with, but forgiveness and compassion and love will always bring you together, my love. I hope this helps. Roy, I missed that. Sorry. You're welcome, Heather. I missed that last question. I have duck earrings, so um, that would be my dad saying. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, sure, Karen, that is awesome. Oh, that's funny. That's just made my day. That's funny. Thank you for that. I've got this little duck waddling along. It looks like Daffy Duck. Anyway, um, I've got the two of air and the seven of cups. So yeah, you have a decision to make um, and it's it's creating a bit of a problem you're procrastinating about it you're procrastinating about um this decision it is see both these cards mean procrastination both of them so maybe it's bringing something has trapped you in your head and you're trying or something has blocked you from moving forward okay so you have you're having troubles making a decision all right um the bottom of the deck is the nine of water so the decision that you are making is going to bring you happiness. You just have to, I don't know, hold your nose and jump in, all right, and take a leap of faith and believe in you a little bit, all right? Follow your intuition, babe. I hope this helps you. <clears throat> That's funny about the duck. Good morning, Jesse. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Can I have some cards for my son? Oh, he went on the floor. 
Oh, ah. Do you feel that he's moving away? Do you feel that the connection with him is moving away? Because the six of air flew that way. So to me that, that means that it's kind of you feel like he's moving. You've, you've, lost, you've lost a little bit of the connection. He's lost a bit of a connection with something or someone. All right, he's been having a, a few arguments or maybe an argument with somebody. Um, you've got to tell him that there is positive outcomes coming his way. The bottom of the deck is dreaming. All right, this is taking a leap of faith, having faith in him, um, following your dreams because unexpected opportunities are right around the corner for him. The bottom of the deck after that is the sun card. So... He just needs to hang on a little bit more and um, positive outcomes are on, his, on their way for him. I hope this helps. Any messages from my best friend that passed away? <sighs> Let's see what we have. Yeah, that one tried. And the bottom of the day, look at that. She's telling you you're beautiful. You have everything. She's telling you to plant your seeds and to make them grow. Nurture what you have. Nurture who you are. Mother yourself like you would mother anybody else, okay? there is. She's trying to give you new ideas. She's trying to make you move forward. Um, there is an influx. There is an inflow of abundance coming for you whether it be small wins whether it be a new job but something that you can build on something a foundation that you can start and you can build on it please nurture yourself all right this is what she's telling you okay and believe in the new beginning because it is oh i just got chills she is coming she is wow she is here all right she is coming you need to speak your truth my love okay I hope this helps you. Good morning, Kim. How are you? Lovely to see you. Can I please have a card? Sure you can, darling. Oh, all right. I have a couple. Okay. All right. I have the nine of water, which is wish fulfillment. All right. Emotional wish fulfillment. Something that keeps it, that makes your heart sing. I have the five of earth, which talks about fears around money. Okay, the five, the money thing is going to balance out because you're at the five at the moment and you're moving towards the 10. All right, and I know that because this is the six of air which is moving forward. All right, you're moving, you're, you're going to move forward out of where you are right now, um, where you are right now and into the next stage. Okay, um, I'm going to pull Nicole. You need to, it's a challenging situation, Nicole. It really, really is. But somebody has to break the stalemate. Okay? Please don't doubt it. All right? I do believe that it is coming together. You will talk. But one of you has to make that step. One of you has to make the first move. Okay? One of you has to be let go of pride and regardless of who was right and who was wrong it's all about feeling oh you're going to cry it's all about feeling mom okay one of you has to make that decision i hope this helps you darling wow oh i know your heart's in your throat hey <laughs> Hi, beautiful. I hope this helps you, honey. Good luck. Keep me posted, yeah? Good morning, beautiful. We are looking at a house we we're moving into. Will we be moving into it? Did you see that then? Um, yes. I do believe that this is your karmic completion. I do believe that this is your destiny. I do believe that you are going to move. This is a positive change. End of a situation. End of one situation moving through to the other. Okay, um, you have good fortune on your side. So, honey, good luck. Yes. Um, I, I, wow. Time of positive change, my love. All right. Um, I'm hearing, please don't take old things. See, this came up earlier. Please don't take old 
passions into new places. All right? It's a time for you to rewrite your start again, turn the page and start again. I hope this helps you. Hi, Massey. Yeah, sure. Great picture. Oh, you're feeling a bit exhausted at the moment. You have so much going on. Um, you feel that you have planted far too many seeds and they're not going, they're not moving. You, you're, you're, you can't see anything moving to fruition. I think you have lots going on at the moment and you've planted um, the seeds that you're planting. Instead of working at them one at a time, you're trying to work at them all together. And there's burdens in bringing a, either a relationship together or or it's um, you feel overwhelmed by bringing a relationship together. This is what I'm hearing. Um, there needs to be forgiveness and there is positive, it is a positive outcome because here's the two. This has come out a lot today. People are coming together. There are positive outcomes. People are offering forgiveness. They are... Um, reducing their pride and and apologizing for and just so they could be in their lives i hope this helps you sweat up sorry hi ashley i'll just put a card for you sweetie oh, wow there is a few i have the page of water and i have two fires okay you're balancing out conflicts with others. You're balancing out your fears with money. These are all coming to an end. You have brought balance in. Um, the page of water is an emotional offering. It is somebody entering your life to bring this balance in, to help you with these things. Um, it could be your intuition that is coming in, that is trying to help you with these things, right? You're getting psychic nudges. You're getting... Um, direction if it is a person then this person is going to help you emotionally support you build another foundation with you or help your foundation grow and the conflict with others is going to ease i hope this helps you darling hi sands anything on my past family or friends please let's see how we go wow you're feeling a bit empty, Sands. I have a hole in my chest. Well, that's what it feels like. It feels like I have a big pit. Yeah, you're lonely. You're missing these people. Um, you feel dot. You you're feeling discontented and a little bored. I do have a female coming through. Um, they're asking you to move forward because the this you're welcome, Carol. Holy, wow. You are moving forward. They're asking you to move out of this loneliness. They're asking you to open your eyes to the beautiful possibilities. They are asking you. She's coming through very, very strong. Hello, Louise from Canada. Um, she's she was very she was a nurturing person. So I'm you're more than welcome, Tony. Um, she was a nurturing person, so she was either your mum or your grandmother or one of your friends. Um, it's, but she's female. She's a very thoughtful, creative, warm person, and that's what you got from her. She's asking you, please see the possibilities in life, see your new opportunities. They are trying to send you love. They are trying to send you things. But I feel that I, this is what I get, and this is what she's doing. I feel that, that you're not seeing what's there. All right. She's sending you messages and love through numbers, through songs, through feathers. Um, I am getting pink flowers, pink petals, right? I hope this resonates with you, but you've got to take the blindfold off, sweetheart. Take the blindfold off and try and move forward. I hope this helps you, sweetie. You're more than welcome, Tony. We have about six minutes left, guys. I've had a ball this morning. Thank you very, very much. Very, very much. I appreciate you guys being here too. It's it's unbelievable that you guys come and join me. And Tracy, it's awesome. I would like to know if my finances will get better and will I find love. Um, wow. These are all money cards. These are all pentacles, right? 
So we have the five of earth. You've got fear surrounding money. Hello, the question. We have balance coming in. So it's either um, fair and just decisions, uh, either a legal case, a contract or something like that is coming to an end and money will be coming in because we do have um, the nine and the two. So you have a decision to make, whether you want wish fulfillment, how you want it. Um, finances are going to get better for you. Finances are going to get better and there may be two job opportunities that come in for you that you have to make a decision. A do, the, do the practical approach. Use the practical approach, okay? Um, do what's best for you with, the, with this information. I hope this helps you, sweetie. Hi, Ashley. Can I have one card for Ashley, please? Yep, it's on the floor. Sorry, disappearing. Planting seeds. Now, I think I think you're planting seeds for wish fulfillment. I think you're planting seeds for an emotional reunion. Maybe it's got to do with family. There is something to do with family that needs to be nurtured. Um, your emotional and material needs are being met right now. Um, but I think this is something to do with family. All right? Seeds have been planted. And... Um, I'm I'm seeing um I'm kind of getting all oh, it feels like I've got wind blowing in my ear. So I'm I'm kind of having um I'm kind of seeing a big table and people up either end. Either end. You've got to bring them together to the middle of the table. Does that make sense to you? I hope so. I hope this helps you, sweetie. Good morning, Monica. Love your cool heart. Thank you. Um, would like, would you please let me know if you think my oldest son will ever talk to me again? He's 29. We haven't spoken for four years. Oh, honey. All right. I do believe, see, the ten of water, this talks about family, all right? This is a leap of faith, all right? I do believe that he's thinking about it. You are definitely thinking about it. You're more than welcome, Deb. You are definitely thinking about it. You guys have had major dramas in the past and the six has come out to tell you that if one of you, see, it's the ten and ten and we have new beginnings, look. Ten, ten, cycles are ending, right? Cycles are ending, new beginnings, new beginnings in both of them. One of you has to, one of you, see, one of you has to make the first move, all right? It takes time. Once, once words have been said and things have been done, it does take time to rebuild that, especially if there's a gap. Um, I do believe that you will have a happy outcome, my love. I really, really do. But the top card was stop procrastinating about it. If you would like to talk to him, then I would seriously pick up the phone um, and make it happen regardless of the outcome because I think he's thinking about you too. I really, really do. I can feel, I, I really believe he's thinking about this too. He misses you, Mum. That's what I've got. Anyway, tune in Monday nights. We've got like 30 seconds left. Tune in Monday nights. We're on um, at 9 o'clock and Tracy and I will both be there and we will both be back next Wednesday. She had other things to do this morning that were um, to do with family. There you go. Um, if you would like to book a meditation class or you would like to come and have a look at our Soul Circle, um, please feel free to give us a ring. All right. Um, if not, Tracy, yep, yeah, Tracy does Reiki on call. If not, then please feel free to come and have a chat to us at Manapara on Saturday. We'll be there from nine until two. Sorry, each knows. Nine until two. All right. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day. As I know how rainy it is, 
and the sun's come out just a little bit <laughs> if you want private sessions give us a ring bye guys thanks for joining us